In this week's episode of Working With Apps, I show you how I use Ulysses. Hello and welcome to this sixth episode of Working With Apps. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you how I use an amazing writing application called Ulysses. Now I use Ulysses pretty much every day for any kind of writing, whether it's blog posts, whether it's descriptions of the online courses that I do, whatever it is I actually write pretty much everything in Ulysses. Ulysses is just an amazing writing application. On the surface, it's very simple, it's very easy to use, but it actually can go very deep if you want it to go very deep. Now, to me, it's more than a note-taking application. Now, I looked at Ulysses many years ago, I think when it first came out and thought, yeah, it's just another note-taking application. But actually, Ulysses is so much more than that. And for those of you guys out there who like to write using Markdown, which I do, it is a wonderful, wonderful tool to use in order to get the most out of your writing experience. And it's when you go into full screen view on a computer, a laptop or a desktop, wow, it is just amazing. All the distractions disappear, but if you do need to see what you've been writing before, just down the slide menu, you can actually see by a few quick sh keyboard shortcuts, you can get straight back into where you were. In fact, the book that I've got coming out later this year, Your Digital Life version 2.2, began its life in Ulysses. Now, to be fair, I, t when I'm publishing a book, I tend to use uh, next week's application, which is Scrivener, but the basic writing, the, the writing that I did in the early days, all began its life in Ulysses. I then transferred it over. But because I just love writing in Ulysses and I want to show you today how I use it and see what you think. You may like Ulysses yourself. So let's get into Ulysses and have a look at that. Before we do that though, I would just like to say if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Ulysses and I'll show you how I use it. So what I have here is my uh, Ulysses account and I've got it in this view at the moment. Normally I would show you in full screen view, but I want to show you something that I really, really like about Ulysses. So if I'm particularly looking for something, I actually just use this view. And here, here's where I keep my published items. Now, the truth is, uh, normally my published items would be held on my desktop Mac because that's usually where I'm writing or I'm writing from my iPad. And I should point out that the iPad version of Ulysses is amazing. But I just want to show you how I'm organizing it and how I'm using it. So uh, basically, if I've got blog posts that I'm working on, I have uh, three places that I've got Lifehack articles that I write for Lifehack uh, once every two months. Uh, I got my Medium articles, which I publish every week, and I do a very brief kind of little mini essay uh, for my newsletter every week. So here's a th these are the three basic where I'm writing. But on a Monday, I would sit down. I've, I've published all my articles at the moment, but I would sit down and I would create a new sheet and I would start writing. Uh, Lifehack articles, I've got nothing on at the moment. And my newsletter, I, in fact, because it's Saturday, everything's been published and I would start the writing process again on Monday. So there's nothing actually in here. But if you go into my published here, you can see everything that I've published in the last few days. So the 60 second, sorry, the 60 day challenge uh, blog post that I wrote is there. Uh, why you need packed. This is the actual, um, I'm, I'm, I think this is from a, a, a little while ago, uh, working with podcast, which comes out on Monday the 11th, by the way, guys. So that's coming out. Uh, that was just a blog post about that. Uh, this was last week's blog post. So they're all pretty much written in here. Um, but also, so that's the blog post that I'm writing. I have keep my random stuff in here. So I've got a profile, which like, obviously needs to get updated and the reason why I'm doing stuff. This is just random stuff that I'm playing with. I keep a few quotes in here that I've collected over the last few months, years, whatever, just generally. But normally these will be kept in um, in. Uh, in Evernote. Now, this one is where the course is. Now, usually when I'm writing a course, um, 
This one here, uh, this is what I did for the recent course that I did on creating an Apple productivity system. But the Time and Life Mastery course, which is my kind of a premium course, um, this was the workbook that I've actually just published, uh, which you can get from my website now. So this is some of the materials that I've used for that. But the actual course itself, everything is actually in here. And I write pretty much everything was written all in Ulysses. And then what I can do is go up to here and I can choose how I want to export it. So basically we've got the format. I can export it as plain text, rich text, markdown or a text bundle. I'm not sure what the text bundle does, to be honest, because I've never used it. But anyway, so over here I would actually export it. I just copy the document that I'm in now, for example, and I would then open that up in pages and create a PDF file. You can actually create a PDF file from here, by the way. Uh, I can go to here and I can create a PDF document and you can choose a particular style. The only thing is, is that I wanted to create my own unique style for the Time and Life Mastery course, which is why I saved it in a different one. But for example, if we use that, I can actually have a look at this and click on preview and it'll show me what it would look like in a PDF document. So um, you can use Markdown, which is what I'm doing here to for the titles and the links and everything else like that. I also keep new course ideas in here as well, but we'll keep that one quiet for now. Um, so supercharge your productivity. When I did the actual update, I put everything in there. So pretty much everything is kept in there. Uh, I keep I've got one here called anecdotes and I got this from Sean Blank's uh, sweet setup because that's a really good like little stories and a bit like uh, I think it was more like Jim Rohn about where collecting anecdotes and stories and explanations and stuff like that. Um, and then I got what I call my boilerplate text, which is basically what I put at the bottom of all my podcasts, which gives the links to everything that people if they want to get in touch with me. And that's essentially how I'm using it. But what I wanted to do was really show you what it looks like when we go in. So let's just say I want to um, continue writing the time and life planning site what I would do is click into going to full screen and this view here now normally I don't have this side view so I can just do command one and I have this view here and this is essentially how I write on a daily basis I love this view it is a fantastic view there's nothing to distract me I turn off all notifications and I just get on and I just write and it is a wonderful way to write as you write um, in this particular view. You can do this on your iPad, you can do this on a desktop, laptop, whatever. You can also write on your iPhone and I have in the past started off blog posts straight from my iPhone because it's such a wonderful place to write. But essentially most of my writing is done at a desktop and if I want to get back to the side menu I can just click on one. If I click on two I can just work on the actual uh, group that I'm working on at the moment. Click on one and it brings all these things. So go to the time and life mastery here. Ah, as I said, I pointed out before, um, this is my uh, digital life 2.0. Um, so uh, I've got like chapters to edit. I haven't actually, these are nearly finished their uh, introduction and I've put all these files in here and I was basically writing in here but now most of because we're getting to the end of that particular book now I'm actually moving over to Scrivener because that gives me more options for exporting to iBook store and Kindle store okay hopefully you found this useful as I say this is a beautiful view to to watch and write your notes and hopefully you found this particular episode useful. If you have any questions about Ulysses, by the way, I will put a link in the comment section below uh, to the way that Sean Blank of The Sweet Setup creates his, his setup because I got a lot of inspiration from that video and it might give you some inspiration if you're a, a, a Ulysses user out there. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.